Welcome back to another Lefties 2 broadcast. Here we go with another top 10 list. You guys have been watching them, creating debate, making comments, disagree, agree, either way. Today, we're going top 10 most underrated players. Again, it's my opinion, my thought, my process. We all have ours. Here is mine. Let's go right into it. Number 10. Most underrated player in the game is Rodriguez. Not used a lot. They actually increased his skill a couple uh, updates back where like he has 24 plus power against left-handers, which only gives him, what, uh, like 86. And not that great overall. But here's the thing. You look at my stats with him, 358 batting average, pretty terrible. He was the first 13 I got. I didn't really... Like, try to get him at 13, but when you're a first starting out player, you need something. And I was losing a lot of games with those stupid errors. So, Rodriguez throwing, fielding, put him at shortstop, really solidified my infield for a long time. Hit him ninth, you know. Not many games go all the way to the ninth batter uh, for me now. So, having someone that was a solid infielder, that's why probably one of the most underrated players in the game. Rodriguez, number 10. All right, going in with that. And you're going to see a theme, right? The theme is really typically talking about, like, beginning players. And just if you have it, try to use them, possibly. That's the theme pretty much for the, throughout this thing. Uh, all right, so number nine is Christine. Now, Christine, again, mainly in there for her power, right? Again, when you're getting you're, – you're new to the game and you get all these cards, you're getting these cards, and you're like, who do I – who do I upgrade? Like, sometimes you can't just upgrade the players you want because everyone, for example, Kevin, everyone's requesting him. So you got to request sometimes someone that's something that no one's using. And for an outfielder, Christine was pretty awesome. Uh, again, her average throwing fielding, which is great. There's a lot of below average throwing and fielding outfielders, but her power was just amazing. And her above average speed allowed you to put her in center field contact a little bit. A little bit below average, but still pretty decent. So that's why Christine, for me, is one of the most underrated players at number nine. All right, let's keep it moving. Number eight. All right, you're going to see a theme also. There'll be a lot of common cards in there. And again, this video is typically geared more towards those beginning players. Like, who do I use if, I, if my other card's not really high? Is number eight is Ricky. Ricky overall. And they just boosted him in his last update with his extra speed and contact in the ninth inning. Contact over 200, power, average speed, pretty solid. And if you put him in the second, I think the two hole, or even lead off in this case now, it's a pretty good option. Throwing, about average. Fielding is pretty terrible, but there's not really a lot of like moments where a catcher is getting a pass ball. So, you know, maybe he's a little slower to get a bunt or something. But having someone that's a pretty solid hitter. Now, I've used him in like a, when I get bored in all common lineup. Like I said, put him in that two hole. He's batting 531 for me. Not a lot of, not a big sample size of at bats, but still when you're batting 531 with a player, it's pretty solid. So number eight is Ricky. Let's go with that same theme of common players. Again, great option. Overall, solid infielder, mainly when it comes to batting. 193 contact, power 184. And his fielding's fantastic. So you put him in there at second base and it'll be perfectly fine. Is Brock. Brock, again, is in there for his bat. Definitely, you could put him in that two hole, three hole if you need a third level 13. And like, say, you got this guy up to level 12 or whatever. And every other, every other infielder is like level 10 or 11. He's a solid option. So definitely don't sleep on Brock. Pretty good over there at number seven. Again, sticking in the infield, sticking with the commons. This guy, not a great stick. Not in there for that reason. Again, kind of similar to Rodriguez. Hanzo here, he's just a solid like infielder fielding, right? Throwing, solid arm, fielding. You could put him in there at shortstop or third base is where I recommend it, right? With that solid arm. But the idea where he catches the ball in the dive and gets up quick and throws... You've seen so many times. I know for a fact you guys have had these games where you got the stupidest play this mini clip is doing. They dive in front of the ball for no reason, and then they're slow to get up. Hanzo is the reason for that. Otherwise, his skill would be irrelevant. But 
Again, not in there for his bat. Defense, speed is a little above average is the main reason. And again, when you're losing games, you're losing games because your infielders are creating errors. He's someone you could put in there, put him in the like, eighth or ninth in your lineup, and it won't really hurt you so much. All right, moving into the top five. Another infielder, Jackson. I don't see Jackson used a lot, right? You get to know what the kind of pitch, which again is helpful or not helpful, supposedly. I'd rather not know. But again, he's a power hitter. Left-handed left handed arm, meaning typically you put him at first base. There's way too many first basemen in this game. Right? Way too many. It's ridiculous how many power hitting first basemen are in this game. But again, you, you have you don't have room for Wilson. Wilson's not up there, right? Gibson's not up there. Kevin's not up there. Right? Alexandra's not up there. Jackson's underused, but the dude mashes, right? You see 545 batting average. Not used in my lineup a lot either, but underrated, underappreciated. All right, let's move into the outfield for number four. Number four. Pretty much an overall just average, overall average guy, right? But solid all around is Wang. Wang, this dude, like I said, if you, if you don't have any options, and you got a guy that's just high ranked because he's not using him so much, Look at that. Just a balanced, overall balanced player. Fielding, throwing. You can put him anywhere in the outfield. Speed's above average. Power's above average. Contact's average. The guy's just a solid player. You can bat him second. You can bat him seventh, eighth, whatever you want. You just put him in there. He's not overwhelming. Not underwhelming. He's just underrated, right? Just you, If you have room for him, great. If you don't, it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt your team to have him in the game, right? So Wang is... Sitting there at number four. Now we're going to number three, the top three. All right. And for this case, I don't have any outside the lines. This actually took me a couple days to kind of just figure out how I wanted to go about doing it. But number three, I use them. I don't see a lot of people using them, right, is Jack. His contact is way below average. Power, solid. Speed, average. I, he's in there at third base for me. Throwing is 190. Fielding is about average. His, like, you know, a 13, level 13, he's at 171 speed, but you put him at leadoff, it's 177. People don't use him because that speed isn't really helpful as a skill at leadoff. But the dude has 400 home runs with me. And again, batting 466 in the leadoff hole, that's better than uh, Harden. It's better than uh, Annie for me, right? It's better for, better than. But uh, Fox, and I get these walk-off first pitch home runs with him. I, I suggest using Jack a lot more than people do. All right? Now, this guy's an up-and-comer. I've seen more people use this dude at number two lately. He's getting up there. I still don't think I'll use him that much. But Matthew, again, he's not in there for his hitting, except his power at level 13 is pretty awesome. And again, at level 13, he'll be about a 168 contact, similar to Jack. So his, you know, his bat won't be too bad. Pretty slow, one of the slowest catchers in the game. Uh, but fielding and throwing, he's in there. And again, helping the velocity increase with your pitcher, that is helpful. And we've seen Marie, velocity does make a difference in this game. So Matthew's sitting there at number two. All right, so number one, most underrated player in my opinion outfielder michael okay again not seeing a lot of people use him but when i do he is batting lead off or second for a lot of people because the guy he's just a hitter right contact above average power above average when he's gonna when he when he has a right-handed pitcher is well above average contact speed above average his throwing and fielding pretty low that's why i have him there in left field Weakest arm, bad fielders, usually there. That is it, right? So, again, your underrated players in the game. Who are yours? Again, number one, Michael. Two, Matthew. Three, Jack. Four, Wang. Five, Jackson. Six, Hanzo. Seven, Brock. Eight, Ricky. Nine, Christine. Ten, Rodriguez. Let me know yours. Have a good one. See you next time. Thanks for watching.